Alrighty guys, hey yo, what is up guys, Aegis Rick here, back with some more Dragon PvP. And sorry if I'm a little bit lazy on the commentary, I've been trying to find matches like in an hour, and what I'm getting instead is a whole bunch of bullshit. so, there's some more bullshit right there. <sighs> oh god, okay, you know what, instead I'm just gonna list bullshit, cause there, there's two in a row. Two in a row with impact punches. I don't know where he, where the opponent was. You launch him and he disappears. So, you know what? Instead, no. This is going to be a montage, guys, of bullcrap that I'm spectating. In case you guys think I'm manufacturing this. Ooh, I like this one because he starts a combo from it. Oh, cool. If you guys think I'm kidding about PvP in regular, everyday instances. It's not, you know just me or just the people I fight it's everybody look at that oh I like this one circle swing and impact punch nice circle swing walk away bullsh <sighs> it's even frustrating me and I'm not even playing because both of these guys should know both of these guys should both see it every single time it happens like whoa that was weird or whoa that shouldn't have happened and yet, people still try to defend Dragon Nest and what this community or what this game is running like. They try to act like it isn't happening. That's a damn lie and everybody knows it. Uh, it happens in any match. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the connection is with these guys. Look at these get pro combos, but when shenanigans happens, it happens every single game. It's not exclusive to just a few people. So, guys, instead of me trying to find a match to record, I'm just going to record other people fighting and just show you guys. Because apparently, uh, well, I guess maybe people don't think it's actually happening. So, here in this video, that's all that's going to be happening. I'm just going to be watching and spectating matches, and you'll see. You'll see it happening. What? Speak of the devil. Ooh, this one's great. Okay, he hits him way out of the sky. He just uses a jump attack to land on his feet. Okay, destructive swing afterwards. He's rolling and finally uses an evasive. Weird roll right there. The uh, drop kick. What happened with the drop kick right there? Again, what happened with the drop kick right there? It's like both of these guys know it. But just keep floating, you know. Just ignore it. AE use right there, definitely, so. Oh, misses the come on that. And you guys, I should note. You should note something. You, you know it's something wrong with how it in interprets the initiations, guys. Because when you're in middle of combo, you often don't drop combos randomly. Once you are in the combo. Uh, so it's not just a... It's a case of of how it registers initiations. Almost almost lost it right there. I don't know how. But uh, it's... What the f... Yep. There you go, guys. He's standing on his feet. Uh, but yeah, how it registers initiations, I have no idea. I, it just really is just a, a kind of a joke. Actually, reinitiations right there. But um, yeah, it, it, hard to believe. I don't know how he gets that getup attack, and then he lands right next. To So you can see the combo goes pretty well once he's starting it, but uh, right there. Once again, ask yourself how that initiation did not work. How did the circle swing not work? How did he land on his feet? That's what circle swing does. That's what circle swing is supposed to do every time you hit with it. Not you just land on your feet randomly and then start combos. Just bullshit, guys. He uses the brush off randomly right there, but yeah, I'm so tired of this, guys. I'm so tired of it. Uh, don't really care that he won or lost, guys. Um, 
I guess, guys, that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to go search randomly in these matches. I'm going to prove to you it's not an exclusive thing. It's any, any match. And you cannot deny this anymore. I'm so sick of people trying to defend it. You can't deny it. It doesn't matter where I go. Let's go over here. Let's go. Let's... Well, I don't want to fight anybody. Let's go into a match already in progress. So you know I'm not, like, trying to fool anybody. Let's do this one. Gladiator versus Barb. A lot of warrior fights today. Alright, let's go. Looks like uh, Gladiator's definitely not in the in the running here, but doesn't matter. I want to see bullshit. I don't care about the match anymore. What happened there? Yeah, don't even try to say that was super armor. He was so late. He hit with... He hit with that before he got that off. So there's no way that he is able to cast that. What the fuck? <laughs> just cast his bone crasher just out of nowhere and then gets recomboed. Okay. Look at they're both named the same guy now. Look, they're the same person. Stormaith? Stormaith. Stormaith? Oh, oh, it's Stormeath and Stormaith. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Instant get ups. Instantly gets up. You guys understand now? It's just bullshit. This is bullshit! Classic case of two initiations this time. Hits with the 50 skill, launches in the air, cancels him out of that. He's still good though. Stomp hits, and he starts a combo. Ain't it great? After all that, he burns the evasive. Wow. <laughs> there's, you, there's nothing you can say now, guys. I mean, I mean, seriously. What are you gonna say about that? Um, he used brush off and then fucking casted that bullshit. Why is he standing on his feet? Look at he started a combo because of that bullshit. He had to burn his evasive. Wow. Here you go, using the iframe on destructive swing. Good move. Knocks him into the sky. Combo time. No, not really. What? He gets an impact punch off and he lands on his feet. Once again, no evasives have to be used after that. Both of these guys. Both of these guys. Are you telling me both of these guys lag? It's bullshit all around. It doesn't matter. All around. <sighs> okay, guys. But enough of these two. Let's go find somebody else. Let's just go back to the arena. It doesn't matter what room. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick it. You guys are going to see me leave the arena. Go into another PvP that's already 2v2. Make sure we haven't seen these guys before. Yeah, Guardian Chaos Mage. Let's watch. Let's watch, shall we? Match is already close to finish. I don't know how he was able to interrupt him out of the sky like that. You want to know how, guys? I re-looked at the footage. Look, he hit with the armor break right there. The blue shields, that's the armor break debuff. And there's the armor break animation. He hit with it that high. Yeah. Five seconds in, already bullshit. Oh, damn it, it's already over. I'm not entirely sure. It looked like something happened, but I don't know. Well, that wasn't fair. I didn't get to see very much. How about we go into here? I'm pretty sure we haven't been into here. Gladiator v. Gladiator. This is going to be great for... Um, for seeing bullshit. Wow, look at his sword, though. Looks really awesome. Let's just see bullshit, though, guys. I guarantee it's going to happen at some point. There's AE used. There's a bullshit right there. Why is he on his feet? Classic case of not once. There's the once, but twice. And no, he still didn't use an evasive. He's on his feet, though. Wow. Twice. Why is he on his feet? Why is he on his feet? Why is he on his feet? Look at the time. It wasn't brush off. It wasn't anything. And look at him. Now he's starting a combo. Oh, you tell me this is good PvP, guys, when you start the combo and you're the one getting comboed. Cool, huh? Cool that he's starting this combo, knowing that he bullshitted through one of them to start to initiate his combo and he didn't have to burn his evasive till now. Now he burned it. Now he deserves. Why is he standing on his feet? Where is he? <sighs> Well, obviously we've seen this before, but on top of that, look at what happens afterwards. Eclipse, impact, he starts a combo because of it. And uses an evasive. Guy doesn't deserve to be comboed right now. He deserved to, to be starting the combo because he started it. He initiated the combo, but no, he's getting comboed because bullshit. 
I right at the start of that, guys. Just just right at the start of that, you know something's up. Just bullshit is up. Very simple. It doesn't matter. Here's the point, guys. It doesn't matter who the person is. Do this yourself. Test it yourself. It doesn't matter what match it is, it will happen d sometime during the match. You will start a combo and it doesn't work. Or some bullshit happens and he gets out of it. Something you deserve. Right there, he shouldn't have gotten out of that. He hit with the impact wave. So I don't know how he didn't get knocked down. He's in the air, he had to hit him again to actually start that combo. I don't know if you guys saw that. What I mean is right here. If you guys look, he's actually got a basic attack off. If he didn't hit him out of the sky right there, he would have just landed on his feet. Uh, bullshit right there, by the way. I didn't see AE or brush off used. It was just air cast. Just air cast. Well, that was a quick game. But anyway, guys, I'm showing you that. It doesn't matter what game. It doesn't matter what game. Very simple. These guys are happy about it, but you know what? I'm not. These guys are haha, -ha, GG. You know, maybe they don't see it. Maybe they truly don't see it. Let's put this barbarian we already saw earlier, but you know what? I bet you it's gonna happen all again. It's gonna happen all again. And I'm gonna record every single bit of it. You guys will see. We started that match. Okay, it's gonna be barbarian versus this swordsman, I guess. So we're gonna see the, the bullshit. So, looking pretty good so far. A whole minute of good PvP. Hard to believe, huh? It's a Christmas miracle. Well, to be honest, the guy was comboing him the whole game, but still, a match without bullshit. There it is. You can imagine this grace of PvP for two minutes uh, will not last for long. What? Why? How do you end up over there? I was, I was specking him. You saw that? How do you end up over there? You can imagine this grace of PvP for two minutes uh, will not last for long. What? Why? How do you end up over there? I was, I was specking him. You saw that? How do you end up over there? AE is used. It's recon. What? No knockback, no nothing. He's just walking away. Cool. What? Yep. There it is again, guys. That rolling attack is undeserved. And uh, this uh, this guy has to eat this combo because of it. I don't think he has to, but I think he used the AE right there to the uh, to move right there. Cancels him yet again. Do you guys hear that noise with the wall bounce? It's kind of funny, but at this point, you get that many in one combo, then it's kind of then it's kind of comical. Actually, hits with the yeah, that's a good impact punch that you land on the ground for. land on your feet after impact punch sounds legit yeah just only a couple this match guys but they are important they are so important okay even a couple means matches do you understand uh, when classes like paladin who don't have initiations on half a second cooldown like most classes uh, what happens when your evasive or initiations don't work uh, when my launch doesn't work I have to wait until my shin breaker comes back because I don't really have any initiations other than that. Uh, so when they don't work when they should, like that impact punch, when they land on their feet, it costs the game. When you get air cast like that, it costs you the fucking game. Do you understand? You know, he shouldn't get this move off, and he does anyway, and he teleports backwards afterwards. Understand how uh, stupid that is? How unbearably stupid that is? <laughs> Apparently hitting with a heavy swing just uh, kind of uh, tickles him. Heavy slash should cause stagger right there. He's in the middle of the roll. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't stagger at all. He just walked right by that. Oh, cool punishing swing. Andy's on the ground. So he didn't have to burn an invasive. Cool. Cool. Still didn't burn one. Finally he burns it. Shit. All right, impact walks away. Okay, demo. Oh, gets him, and finally, yeah, 
enough BS to go around, guys, on both sides, both of them getting BS on impact punches, on landing on the feet, on air casts, so there you go. Let's go to one last, one last one, guys, one last room, and we're just gonna leave that one and go to another one. Who knows who it's gonna be? These two. Sniper and Gladiator, huh? A lot of glads today. Multi shot, split shot. Oh my god, he actually air shot that. He shot him out of the sky. That was amazing. That was like aim shot kind of level shit. Or aim bot, excuse me. Oh, uh, what? Alright, he uses a fake shot to shoot him out of the sky. Doesn't register until he uses an evasive over there. What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Why is he standing on his feet? Look, he really is on his feet! What? Uh, how come the ranger was able to walk away from that? Just walk away. Literally no evasives was used. He just walked. In the air! He just got a counter combo, he's just standing on the ground! Guys... I'm done. I'm so done. I am so done! I'm so done with everybody's excuses of this game. I told you a thousand times and you refuse to listen a lot. Well, okay, I take that back. A lot of you accept what I'm saying. A lot of you refuse to listen. Um, and most importantly, Nexon, Dragon Nest, they refuse to listen to this shit. And people keep PvPing because Dragon Nest PvP is the greatest thing ever, isn't it? I guess when you're, uh, you don't really care about things that much. Um, but when you win and lose because of these things, and when you play enough matches that you experience wins and losses because of these things, it loses its merit entirely. When shit like that happens and your opponent is standing on their feet and doesn't have their evasive until you actually combo them afterwards, is just ridiculous i mean there really is just no point to pvp imagine for a sec if this just happened in street fighter yeah and after every combo they just land on their feet and they get out of it they just get out of it i'm done guys i'm done i'm done with this video i'm done with i want to say i'm done with dragoness uh, i really do because uh, here let me end by saying this i guess last year i quit for this very reason this has not been addressed or even talked about this entire time so the entire time it's been happening people have just put up with it and you know what here's the sickening thing is that people have been complaining about it yet Nexon refuses to do anything about it they haven't addressed it they haven't even looked at it so you know what as far as I'm concerned they're not gonna fix it if it hasn't been fixed this long into the game more almost close to two years I'd say uh, if it hasn't been fixed then it's not gonna get fixed ever so why should I care about this game when the developers don't care about it themselves? It's a very, very simple concept. How can you care if they don't? Right, he's trying to roll to get up, actually gets interrupted, and he gets up immediately! And teleports backwards, too. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm done. I'm so done. I don't know, maybe forever? Look, you can't just record for two hours straight trying to find a good match, and then every single match this happens. You just can't do it. And I implore you to do it yourself. To try it yourself, just start observing and actually keep a keen eye to the bull crap that happens every single match, no matter who is fighting who. You guys saw it here first. Try it yourself, though. I'm not kidding. But I'm done, guys. See ya. Alright, guys, those are the matches that I did back to back. That is, I just went into a room, left a room, and then went into another room. That's legit what you just saw in the video. Now I'm just going to put clips together of the matches I was trying to record because bullshit happened there, too. So, montage time. Go.
Hits with the armor break, he's walking away. Cool shenanigans, man. Now he hits with the armor break and starts a combo. Alright, the tank hits with the stun grenade. You can clearly see he is stunned right there. He's even got the stars, but oh, never mind. The stars are still there for him being stunned, but he's already out of it. Alright, this one's a good one. Look, he hits with the shin breaker. It gets bullshit air cast with the destructive swing. Look at that. Destructive swing into armor break. That even gets bullshit. So literally, both initiations back-to-back -back get fucked. Kinda like my hopes for this game getting any better.